Ladius was standing beside Harry as they watched cargo haulers load several megatons of goods and materials onto the lucid treasure. Almost mesmerizing, isn't it? Harry asked. Sorry? Ladius replied, slightly confused. Mesmerizing? Like it can make you almost feel meditative watching the order and control, Harry explained. Dressing to watch from their viewing window looked like hundreds of ants moving in order. Looking back down, Ladius had to admit that there was something comforting in watching the order of so many machines in concert. They noticed one droid begin to fly up towards the crew boarding section. Looks like your DOG is arriving, Ladius said, pointing the machine out. Can't wait to meet the papa, Harry said, with a joyful glee of a child barely containing their emotions. Proceeding down the hallway, they arrived at the crew cargo drop-off point. A few crewmen and droids were moving containers of food and other necessities, but all gave a wide berth around one container that rocked every so often. This for you? The droid asked in a snarky tone. For him, but I'll sign for it, Ladius said, holding his hand out for the data pad. The droid handed it over, and Ladius placed his talent onto it, scanning his print and marking it as received. It's all your problem now, the droid hastily said before zooming out of the open cargo doors. So, are you ready to meet the DOG? Ladius said, gesturing to the container that violently rocked again. Sure, Harry started, taken aback watching the crate shake another time. Ladius walked up to the crate and punched in a code on display on the side, and the gate began to slide open. A few of the crew watching this put down their boxes and quickly retreated. Ladius casually returned to Harry's side, holding a small data pad from their container. Out of the crate walked a three-foot-tall creature. It had eight legs, a pointed snout with three eyes and a triangle on its head. Its mouth had a row of fangs that, all present, had no doubt could tear flesh with ease. Uh, Ladius, can I have a word? Harry said, gesturing for his colleague to come over. What is that? He said, in a harsh whisper. A DOG, Ladius replied, confused. That is not a dog, that is anything but a puppy. Harry said in a hasty, whispered voice. This is the comfort animal we have ordered. We don't have the time nor spare funds to replace it, Ladius explained, trying to placate the concerned-looking human. Fine, but I expect a kick-ass robot limb if I lose an arm or a leg, Harry said, as he tentatively approached the creature. Hey there, he said, avoiding eye contact with the creature. The creature instantly squared its body up and snarled. Hey, 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 I'm a friend, buddy, Harry said, in a soft tone holding up his hands in balled up fists with his thumb behind his fingers. I'm not going to hurt you, he continued, slowly shuffling towards the creature. After a few tense minutes, he was within arm's length of the creature, and Jenny brought his hand down on the creature's head. There, there. You were just scared because you didn't know where you were, right? Harry said, in his most comforting tone. The creature leant his head into his hand, enjoying the contact. What should we call you, eh, buddy? Harry asked the creature, that began to do a tippy-tappy dance on the spot, excited the tone. How about Triangle? Harry asked, but the creature seemed not to be too fond of the name. No? Okay, how about Octo? Harry asked, to which the creature seemed more receptive. Okay. Octo it is, Harry said, giving the eight-legged creature a big old pat. Walking back over to Ladicious, who now had a number of the crew carrying behind him, I thought they eat sentience, one of them muttered. He seems nice enough. I need to give him walkies every so often, but I think I can make it work, Harry said, looking up at Ladius. I'm sorry, Harry, but how did you do that without the remote control interface? Ladius said, holding up the small handheld datapad. Control interface, Harry repeated, confused. DOGs are genetically engineered. They have remote controls. You approach the creature and bond it without any inputs, Ladius explained. Seems a bit barbaric, Harry said, shocked. But how did you do that? One of the crew demanded. Well, first I made my body language relax. They can pick up on that stuff and respond in kind. He began giving his shoulders a shrug to show how Lucy had them. Then I avoided eye contact at first, as it is a threat gesture for some beans. Next I brought up my hands. The last thing I want to give is something for him to nom off, he said, giving a wiggle of his fingers. Finally, I approached slowly making it clear I wasn't a threat, but a friend. Upon recognising it, Octo responded. Harry finished his explanation to the stung crew. How do you know this? One of the crew asked. I grew up in a zoo, so I was around nasty beasts. 
It's standard procedure to follow general rules that we know for predatory animals, Harry answered. We humans are great at bonding with near anything, whether it's an animal, a robot, or even a suit with googly eyes. Why? How do your races gain predatory animals? Harry asked. We scores a number of the crew to start avoiding eye contact. <laughs>